Does wine go bad whenever you open it and don't drink it for a week? Here we go, here we go again. Trying hard, but you want What if it's red? I will. First. I'm not gonna be accurate. Pricing sometimes. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one. Hi, hello friend. Happy whatever day of the week it is for you. Today, you just saw breakfast and I am taking you through a whole, kind of like what I eat in a day, but also um, just like a day in the life. Normal, not really a normal day in the life. Today is a little bit different. And also it is date night tonight. So we are having a really yummy recipe that we're making tonight, which I'll tell you about later. I'm actually going to have to start prepping it in about an hour. Um, and then crumble cookies. And if you don't know what crumble cookies are, you need to. And if you've never had them, you need to get some. But we're gonna order four different kinds and kind of like split them all. And I'm gonna have one whole one, which is a doozy. So I'm gonna show you how I kind of like fit that in. And if you like this sort of thing, make sure to like and subscribe. I feel like I've been doing a lot of different like educational videos lately. So it'll be fun just to like hang out together for the day and not just having me drill macros and reverse dieting and stuff into your brain, right? So as I just said, we just had breakfast and now I need to work for a little bit and then prep, let's see, I have about 45 minutes to catch up on a few things and then I need to start prepping our date night dinner tonight and we'll go on a little walk, it's a rest day today. So you can just come hang out with me. Just got some work done. Did a Facebook Live today in our free Facebook community. So if you're not in that, uh, link's in the description to join that, it's absolutely free. And today I did a Q&A um, and there were questions submitted about reverse dieting, about intro workout nutrition, about calorie deficits, um, about fitting in more calories if you have a busy lifestyle. So that's fun. We, we do a lot of, a lot of educational Q and A's on there, but it is time to start prepping for date night. So we're gonna do that. All right, we're making tonight for date night, bolognese sauce. Bolognese, bolognese, bolognese. I, I know that that's not how you say it, guys. Um, Bolognese, that's what I'm gonna say. I should have probably Googled how to actually say it. I feel like I, we, uh, Derek and I joke around so much saying like, just like the totally improper pronunciation for food. Like avocado is not avocado, it's avocado. Free shavocado. And like, we're just dumb. Okay, we're just dumb. So we always joke around and say, we're gonna make bolognese tonight. And it's just, I know it's cringy. Um, but anyways, I have the recipe. It's from New York Times. I've made it once before, and it was absolutely delicious, wasn't it? Yeah. Are you talking about the bolognese? Yeah. The bolognese? Yeah. Did you say the blue list? <laughs> no. The bologna? <laughs> the bologna? The bolognese? So... Yeah, that's good. We I thought it was all Does wine go bad whenever you... Open it and don't drink it for a week. I got this thing in there. There. We got onion. I cut this in. Oh. You're hungry? That's too good. If you have not been following along. I am in a calorie deficit right now. I'm still eating almost 2,000 calories a day. It's like 1,900, um, but that's not a lot for me considering my maintenance was like 24, 25, 2,600 at times last year. So um, it's totally normal to get hungry during your diet. And another thing during your diet is you're gonna have to make sacrifices. I know I talk about being fit and balanced all the time, which we're absolutely still living that way. But if you have fat loss goals, 
and you are in a sustainable and optimal calorie deficit for your body eating, you know, like I'm eating almost 2000 calories a day. Um, it's important to know that sometimes you're going to have to like make swaps here and there. And if you want to fit in higher calorie dinners, like, you know, that I'm having tonight, the good strategy that I use is to try to keep breakfast and lunch really, really low calorie and really, really high protein. So that's what I'm doing. It's also totally okay in your dieting phase to have like one kind of untracked meal a week. It's not a cheat meal or a free meal or anything like that. It's just to like not have to track everything you eat. It can be kind of nice. The point is to still be mindful and stay near your calories but it's okay if you go over calories by a few hundred because if you hit your macros every other day of the week your weekly average is still going to be about the same so typically for date nights we have one a week um during a calorie deficit you probably shouldn't be eating out more than once a week really like that's one of the sacrifices to make to lose fat you can eat out more than that for sure um, during reverse dieting and during maintenance phases but if you really want to see optimal and efficient results the more consistent you are and the more adherent you are the better your the, the faster your progress will be um, so Having about one free meal or untracked meal a week is totally fine as long as you don't go overboard. And that's kind of what I've been doing is during our weekly date night that we have, I normally don't track it. I did track it today to see how, how much I might be going over. Um, so I did track it today. I'm keeping breakfast and lunch, as you'll see, super low calorie, super basic, super high protein and then having a protein shake and my dinner is gonna be like well over 800 calories and then we're having crumble cookies which is gonna be a lot so I'm going over my calories by like 300. Um, but when I look at my weekly average, my calories are only 45 calories over. So that's because I've hit my macros like the past nine days in a row it's totally okay every now and then to go a little bit over. It's not the end of the world. That's why we wanna look at the weekly average too and your consistency over time. But yeah, not a big deal to have like an untracked meal every week during a cutting phase. That's what I like to do. And you just know like, don't go overboard. Have what you want, have what you're craving, but keep your other meals light and then don't think about it. Like don't regret it, it's awesome. It's all good. Like you don't have anything to regret or feel guilty for. And then tomorrow, just get right back to hitting your macros, hitting back, hitting your normal food. If you don't. So, and, uh, you're having, uh, you having. Didn't you made this for your grandpa? Yeah. yeah. But you ignored her. Yeah. Here we go. Um, I'm really hungry and I still have quite a few more minutes before we actually get to like eat lunch. I forgot this recipe, like you have to let the milk completely simmer down and then you need to add the wine and then you have to like let it completely whatever. So 30 grams of this to make sure I don't turn into a hangry monster. And it, it, we just went on a lunch. We just went on a lunch. <laughs> we just went on a walk. The, the Bolognese, the Bolognese, the Bolognese is doing really well. It's simmering over here for the next five hours. Um, and like I was talking about earlier, we need to eat very high protein, very like low calorie today because I'm literally having so many, so many calories for dinner and crumble cookies. So I'm gonna have a really big salad for lunch and that's it. And I 
never do this. Have like I can't tell you the last time I had a salad, but that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna do five ounces of chicken that we made last night and we had it with pasta. And I'm gonna do like this whole half a bag of chopped broccoli, green, cabbage, kale, Brussels sprouts, You're eating that whole bag. Papi papitas, radicchio. I am the epitome of health. Right, we're gonna have 30 grams of Bolt House Farms Ranch on this bowl of health right here. Again, the only reason I'm doing this is because tonight is date night and I'm saving a ton of carbs and fats for date night. It's worth it. We got grilled chicken, a ton of veggies, and some Bolt House Farms Ranch dressing. Normally, it'd be nice to have like a, a sturdy carb, like rice. Really, that's the only thing I would add to this. Um, but again, we're having a really fun dinner time, so that's how we fit it in. We eat high protein, low calorie, breakfast and lunch and snacks, and then we have a fun dinner, guilt-free, and then we just get back on track with our normal macros tomorrow. It's, it's fit and balanced, right? Yeah. Bow chow. <laughs> Work day's done. It's time to go on a walk, and it's so cold in Texas. Like, I have on my leggings, and then I put on sweatpants over my leggings. Gotta grab a jacket. Like, any time it's 20 degrees in Texas, we don't know how to handle it, okay? <laughs> Are you gonna walk? Do you over here? Mm. It's better. <laughs> you look ridiculous. It's officially date night time. I got to change into my comfy clothes. I don't know if you can see. And by that, I just mean not in leggings anymore. Um, let's check how the bol bolognese is doing. Let's see. I'm not gonna lie, I've taste tested this a few times and it's doing pretty darn good. So it's ready. It's been simmering for, what, like over five hours now? I think. I've been adding water to it to keep it okay. I'm not really tracking dinner. I did track dinner, but I'm not really measuring anything out. I just wanted to see where I was going to be at for the purpose of today. And I'm definitely going to be a few hundred calories over my normal calorie targets. But like I mentioned earlier, it all averages out in the week. So if you do this one night a week, it's totally not going to derail your cut. Let's go see what. Oh, there's Nova. What are you oh, doing up there? There's Nova. Hmm? If you don't wanna... <laughs> like this here. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> what we got? Blue Monster. Oh. Uh, Chips Ahoy or something? Yeah, it's... It's a, oh. I think it's a cinnamon cookie. Cornbread. That one I think is going to be the best. Peanut butter with peanut butter Reese's chips. Vanilla. Don't touch them all. <laughs> Don't touch them all. <laughs> what is I'm so excited to eat you. Okay, shut you up. You already dinner ate oh. dinner. Here we go, here we go again. Trying hard, but you want to be my friend. This recipe is literally so good. Like I said, I've made it one other time. It takes a long time because um, you gotta like be patient with it and let it simmer for a long time. 
and like while you're making it the milk has to like simmer down and the wine has to simmer down and then you put the tomatoes in and then you let it simmer for like three hours minimum but it is so freaking good it's from new york times i'll link it below it's so good all right here's our date night setup we got our bolognese hulu we got our parenthood We're watching parenthood on um all right, gonna eat this. We'll check back in whenever we open the best part it's of the day, aka time. the crumble cookies. It's cookie time. I've been waiting for this all day. I've been waiting for this since last week. It is cookie time. <laughs> I've been waiting for this since last week when our neighbors freaking had these crumble cookies and I had already eaten all my food for the day. And I'm so excited. Should we cut them in this? Or should we put them on our plates? Uh, probably in there. I think it'll cut far. Okay. Oh, that one was took some muscle. <laughs> Yum. Let's test how it is, okay? It's, wait, wait. it's the cornbread cookie. Should this be like. Is that supposed to be like. It was like every, icing, yeah. In every bite or. Ready? Oh it's date night. This is our in-home date night. So we had the Bolognese, we got the crumble cookies, and then what are we gonna watch? It's called like Reminiscence or something. I'll throw a screenshot up of it. On what? Hulu or? Um, HBO. Max. We're gonna go watch that upstairs. Stella thinks she's getting a cookie. She's not getting a cookie. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I have icing all over my fingers. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I feel like it was a really boring day, but it was pretty like like a normal day. We worked, but it was also date day night. It wasn't a whole date day. It was a date night. Yeah. And you get to see how I'm eating this and I'm not going to feel guilty about it either cuz there there ain't nothing to feel guilty about. And tomorrow I'm going to hit my macros perfectly, which is what you can do to get back on track after crumble cookies. Yeah, and tomorrow we're going out. And we're going out tomorrow, but I'm gonna hit my macros. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and leave any comments if you have any like future requests or um, if you want more videos like this.